Hey everyone, Lizzie Marie here with the Sparrow's Nest and welcome to my channel. Simple living with DIY projects and delicious dishes. So today I'm really excited. I have a special guest coming today and it's my very good friend Vanessa and we are going to do a really fun DIY project. She has some lamps that she wants to redo. Um, I haven't seen them yet, so I'm really excited, but we're going to redecorate some lampshades. So yeah, she will be over soon, and I know I haven't done a DIY in a while, so I'm really looking forward to getting back in it. With this coronavirus, it has just been really hard to get out, um, to go to thrift stores and such. And yeah, I mean, also it's just really emotionally and mentally exhausting that I'm with my kids all the time. So having my two boys around, I mean, it's been great, but also I haven't had much me time. So by the end of the day, I'm so mentally exhausted that I haven't really had much time to be uh, a creative person. <laughs> so yeah, I'm looking forward to finally giving you a fun DIY project. All right, so she'll be here soon. So this is my friend Vanessa. As you can see, she has come bearing lamps, which she just had on her head. She took it off because she's too embarrassed. <laughs> but we are excited to see how we can redecorate these. <laughs> so I'm a big thrifter, and I love to go to Goodwill, but I'm so cheap I only go on half price days. But I got this, 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 and I'm pretty sure this at Goodwill on half price day, so they were probably like 50 cents to a dollar each or something like that. And this was from Salvation Army right here. I don't like Salvation Army as much because they don't have like the whole store once a month half price day sales. And this I got from Dollar General. So um, this project is a little bit on the shady side, but hopefully by the end of it, we can shed some light on the situation. Okay, for one of them I thought I would just do a simple trim along the bottom. I've already had this trim, the nothing, I didn't buy anything for this project. So this can just go all the way around on the bottom and on the top and it just makes a little pretty decoration and it doesn't um, detract from the light sometimes when you, if you paint it or you put fabric on it, it can make it not as um, light. So that's what I'm going to do with this one. Cute. Okay, so the seam right here on the lampshade, I'm gonna start my trim right there on the um, seam. So then you come to the end. I'm at the seam once again. And I'm going to take some sewing scissors and just cut it off. Straight line. And then just add a little bit more of the glue. So the seam is um, where the trim ends up here and down here. And I'm going to turn that around to the back when I put it on my lamp. And voila, you have a very simple, cute, chic, shabby chick, whatever they call it.
All right, so I have finished my lampshade. I'm really excited, we're well, almost finished. We're going to add some lace at the bottom, but I still got super, or not super glue, hot glue all over. So I put some buttons down, and then I put some ribbon. I'm really excited how it turned out. And now I'm gonna put some lace on the bottom and maybe on the top. So we'll see how that looks. All this hard work has made me want an ice cream sandwich. <laughs> so while the hot glue gun heats up, I'm gonna have my ice cream sandwich. Cause I deserve it. Gosh darn it. What do you think, Vanessa? <laughs> oh, you're so camera shy. Like you totally just like freeze up as soon as the camera turns on. I just need to get used to it. I mean, you're blushing. used to it, Liz. I'm not. The so. camera is literally making her blush. Like it is an inanimate object that is making her blush. Mm. This is a woman who's like. You gotta be nice to me if you ever want me to come back. <laughs> she, she never blushes. Mm -mm. Nothing scares this woman except this inanimate camera. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're probably okay. Alright, for the third time, <laughs> I'm starting right here on this seam. Voila! There you go. That is so adorbs! <laughs> So we just took a little tiny bit of ribbon, very thin white ribbon, and just, we're not, we didn't hot glue it at all, just tied it into a nice little bow. It just adds that little extra touch for the front of the lamp. That's just, oh my word, so adorable. Totes adorable. <laughs> very vintagey, chic. What was the other word you said? Um, shabby chic. Shabby chic. Yes. <laughs> And you know what? I think we could totally buy this in a uh, one of those high-end boutiques for what, 25 bucks? Oh, yeah. Sure. Totally. Yeah. So for is this the last one, Liz? Yeah. So for the last one, this one has actually, I don't know if you can see it, indentions where it was hit by something or rubbed against something. Um, actually, all over the inside, if you can see, it's kind of cracked and. Um, yeah, it's literally cracked and indented all over the inside. So, and it has this, um, it's not smooth like the other ones we were working with. But, I have a plan. She has so, a plan, ladies and gentlemen, she has a plan. So, this is lace left over from another project that I did at one point. Actually, I made a, um, like an overlay shrug thing for a friend of mine out of this. So, this might actually look really lovely just draped over the top and hot glued along here. So I'm going to just play with it and see what we can come up with. So I'm going to start right here with the seam. And hot gluing with lace is a bit more tricky, a little bit of a safety hazard if you're not careful because it's so thin. So you got to watch your fingers. Well, oh no. Look what it's doing. <laughs> okay, so that can be I say I say let's work with it and not against it, okay? Let's go with the flow of what it's telling us that it wants to do. Obviously, it wants to go like this. So, let's just go with it. So, I'm going to just hot glue it all the way across. That's a good idea. And it's going to be gorgeous. Yes. So I'm just going to take... Okay, Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Back to Medusa. <laughs> I'm going to go at the bottom where it's telling me it wants to go, and I'm putting a marker hot glue right here. Hold on. Right here. Oh. See, it's wanting to go this way, so I'm just going to say okay, and we're going to go with it. So we're just gonna tuck it under and make it look, I think it'll look better that way. And then we are going to add, Liz had some of these already, 
um, these pretty little flowers and we're just gonna stick them in here all along all along this edge here and it's gonna look amazing. Mm -hmm. So that part's done. Now on to this part. Ooh. All right. That's really pretty. There you go. We have turned the wrist door lampshades into beautiful chic lampshades. So I hope you enjoyed our DIY project. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more DIY projects. You're really never going to come back. <laughs> I will pray about it. <laughs> she doesn't love us, Kim. Vanessa got these jeggings from Walmart. <laughs> they didn't fit her, but they fit me. Why are you rubbing your butt in my face, girl? Well, I didn't mean to do it in your face. I forgot you were behind me. Okay. <laughs> I was doing the camera, then doing this way, because I was showing my front part. I forgot you were right behind me. <laughs> it's a good thing we're really good friends. <laughs> I'm gonna check out my butt in the butt mirror upstairs. You have a butt mirror? I have a like full size mirror. I watch a lot of YouTube videos and how to be more comfortable in front of the camera is you should treat it like you're talking to a friend. Like me? Yes. Okay. Except I probably don't talk to you like this. So obviously it's a little more. <laughs> but you talk to the camera like it's a friend. Hi friend. It looks like it's gotta be extra silly and just get it out. <laughs> no, it's not happening. It's not happening. I tried.